I want to go over the trades on the day. We are looking at the results here. Very volatile day. Biggest turnaround uh, since November the 13th, 2008. So about uh, 13 years and a few months since the market was down 4% and made a comeback to close positive. Unusual market conditions. And so we were up and right now we are down about 33.20 with a couple of positions open in the 200K. Um, down about 18.50 per contract in the 50k portfolio. The, we traded um, we traded the 50k portfolio with the micro 20 that I talked about this weekend. So the results were better because the micro portfolio was up. So there's some highlights today. I want to hang my hat on uh, the 200k portfolio is right there, about 800 dollars into a worst case drawdown. And so you got to give it some room to bounce with this kind of volatility. I want to go over the volatility and the highlights on the day and all the trades on the day. Um, you see this momentum reversal here uh, that traded in the micro setup, 12, about 1200 per contract. So potentially work even a micro in on this. I don't like to start strategies at run-ups, but the micros give us a chance to trade a very hot strategy like this. Um, 1200 per contract would have been helpful on even the 200K portfolio today. So let's look at the trades. Right here, you have about plus $600 on the micro per micro contract, while you have about minus $2,400 in the 50K portfolio. Gap continuation in reverse is by far the biggest dog. Very frustrating on that. Um, we did have this trade at the end of the day to come back. And so um, we were down about uh, 18K on not 18k 18k divided by uh, eight contracts and so down about 2400k uh, Cobra 3 stopped out by 100 we had, we had had a stop loss about hundred dollars bigger um, we would hit that twenty nine hundred dollar profit target so it's on the eighth loser in a row on Cobra 3 that was a frustrating scenario to see we've made a video about a bigger stop loss uh, you know version working better right now uh, Esther Countertrend 2 is profitable on the day. Hit its uh, $600 stop loss, or $800, $800 stop loss, and um, we had gap continuation reverse. Just did absolutely terrible. Lost three out of four, and just definitely want to scale back on some of these and make further revisions. Put more towards the micro in Q in the 50k portfolio, and then trade less of something like this and even the uh, commodity markets which didn't trade in the 50k portfolio today other highlights today um, include soy uh, soybeans didn't trade um, natural gas didn't trade crude oil had a nice short one trade um, got short at it's up about 1200 per contract so that was a nice trade right there getting out at a good time copper had a nice short um, hit its 1200 dollar Profit target on four contracts had a small loss on the long side right here um, So nice trades in copper silver was down uh, minus 825 per contract gold was um, Gold traded uh, one Strategy today gold reversal just sloppy um, This isn't really a matter of VIX just sloppy trade um, And so we're trying to catch some reversals here, which the market is reversing um, And this trade right here is profitable um, as we go into the close so um, but down on the day in this strategy and gold reversal in general and we're giving this uh, 200k portfolio a little room to balance the Nasdaq strategies the net of the Nasdaq strategies were down even though the micro NQ20 setups were positive mainly this momentum reversal this new strategy that we have um, that really calls these V reversals the V reversal high the Friday it was down V reversal low on Monday uh, top strategy here um, but the so the net of the Nasdaq strategies in the 200k portfolio was down we had SR counter trend 2 stopped out tick pullback just the longs and shorts were stopped out uh, once again we traded this Cobra 3 $90 higher um, our stop loss was hit it's you know moved $90 higher than our stop loss so $100 stop loss like I said would have had us in a positive position to capture that and so it's been on seven losers and so it's kind of a kind of a black eye right there to have that happen right there qs3 was a long trade that was profitable uh, sr counter trend 2 here at the end of the day captured some profits uh, sr counter trend 2 v2 lost here at the end of the day on the short side tick pullback lost trying to buy that dip pretty tight stop loss in such a volatile market 
Let's look at the wild swings in the market, though, in general. Uh, you had about an $18,000 per contract move from when Europe opened to the lows. And then you had an $11,000 uh, move here. And then you had about a, uh, I guess about a $5,000 move here. And then you had another $10,000 move here back towards the highs. And just, just extreme. Like I said, it hasn't done a 4% down and then back to the positive since uh, 2008. I think that, um, you know, last a couple of weeks ago, we had Marco Klonovic come out on Monday. He says, time to buy the dip. Today, some popular bulls decided, hey, it's capitulation, time to buy the dip. As I don't know that it, this dip is over yet, but uh, we'll see. Um, VIX did go above 35, so we might get a little more of a, a, a bounce like we did a couple of weeks ago. Um, just, just highly manipulated. You know, either the Federal Reserve is propping the market up or uh, the bullish media is propping the market up. And so we did capture these SR Countertrend 2 shorts on ES at the end of the day. Uh, gap continuing in reverse was also the, the biggest issue in, I mean, without this strategy, we'd be profitable on the day in the 200K portfolio. Um, it lost here, here, profitable and lost here. So one for four, uh, tick pullback lost, 60 minute breakout short was profitable. I uh, took these short trades right here, um, lost one, lost one, one, lost, and so net profitable on the day, shorting the market, and then 60-minute breakout on ES, got long here, came all the way back down and stopped out, a concept of bigger stop loss, um, now it's long again, and you just see the massive V, re v reversal in the ES, you see um, this market was at its low the low to high was um, 215 points, so about 10,000, over $10,000 in the E-mini S&P, or yeah, in the E-mini S&P as well, a 200-point move, so pretty, pretty extreme. You see the nature of that, those parabolic moves with sharp V reversals are one of the more challenging things to capture, and so our momentum reversal did it. We're going to be looking to implement more strategies like this, I have some more ideas for this, but we are sitting at, uh, like I said, we're sitting at a worst case drawdown. Let's go over the uh, portfolio calculator. Um, we were $2,500 away coming into today. We're down about 3000 so you have to give it room when volatility expands down here. And then the 50K portfolio um, was sitting at a worst case drawdown. 12,000. It's down uh, $2,400 today, so down about 14.4 on a 50k portfolio, about 28% 10 strategy portfolio. And so we've had this portfolio for a while. It's been been here since January 17th, so over a year. But this new level of volatility that we're seeing, uh, even beyond the pandemic, um, so there's these even bigger moves now. In, in certain ways in the stock indexes that go even beyond the pandemic. And um, so 50K portfolio, any worst case drawdown, we're looking to migrate more and more of the micro portfolio to this and cut cutting losses and riding winners, scaling with micros a little bit is what we're working on. So I'll have more information on that. Uh, but if you're trading the 50K portfolio, I would recommend focusing more on the micro 20 if you're, if you're risk uh, feels high if your stress feels high. I would focus on this trading micros, one micro, um, the worst case drawdown to max drawdown. Once you're at an equity peak like today, your risk to worst case drawdown is about uh, $4,000. So um, really slowing it down, just trading the micros could be a way to trade in this volatility. Again, I think this market could bounce a little bit more like it did when Marco Klonovic called his bottom. And then uh, this could be more, uh, more tradable to the long side bounce, which I look forward to. I'm happy to have that, happy to have a counter trend bounce today. A little disappointed that we didn't get more strategies catching this breakout. EVP1 or 60-minute um, breakout in Q did not catch these reversal moves like I thought they might, like they're set up to. They're a little bit more stealth, and so we didn't capture those uh, reversal moves, but momentum reversal did. So 
long video on today, challenging market times, and so we'll have the portfolio calculator updated later on this evening. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.